Welcome to SolidCam Professor. I'm Sydney, your SolidCam Professor, with one of many videos available to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We have now added the option of recognizing the whole wizard from SolidWorks. If I were to open the part for a moment, SolidWorks itself has an option for creating standard types of holes with the use of a hole wizard. If I were to open up one of the holes, for example, that was created for with the hole wizard in SolidWorks itself, you can see the following. You can see that it has all different types of holes, such as counter bore holes, countersink, simple holes, or holes as they call it, uh, tapped holes. These holes are created automatically according to specific standards. We now recognize all the parameters that we have from the SolidWorks hole wizard. What we support today are the counter bore holes, the countersink holes, the simple holes, and the tapped holes. Now let's take a look of how we use this inside SolidCam itself. We are now able to capture all of the parameters that are provided by SOLIDWORKS inside our machining process. If I were to open up my machining process, for example, you can see I've created a machining process here for those four types of holes. If I were to open up one of them, for example, the tapped holes, you can see the following, that we now actually have different types of parameters called hole wizard parameters. These include all the parameters such as the hole diameter of the part that, from the hole wizard, uh, counterboard diameters, all the aspects, the thread depth, drill depth, drilled angle, everything that is provided by the SolidWorks hole wizard. We are now able to capture them inside our machining process and use that to our advantage. We can also include the actual geometry of the holes that were created by the hole wizards, such as the actual physical diameter. Let's see exactly how we can use this. If I were to go inside our operation over here and choose the option of machining process, and I'll use, for example, counter bore holes. You note the following. When I choose it, we have an option over here called recognize whole wizard geometries. By clicking on that, I'll click on the counter bore holes and note what happens. We have it set for taking everything that the wizard has created plus anything that was created in a pattern as well off of those holes. So if I were to click on this counter bore hole over here, you'll note that it gives me all of the holes that we created over here. Now note, when I accept this and insert them, you'll note that all of the operations were created. Now let's actually take a look at these operations over here. We'll exit over here. And first of all, we have our first operation, which was the spot drill for the holes themselves. You can see that the, the position of all of the holes were captured, but besides that, the following was also done. The, ta the spot drill diameter that was created over here was specifically according to the size of that particular counter bore hole. The levels were automatically taken from the information that we got from the counter bore, so we know exactly what diameter value we want to go down to. If I were to go into a different operation, such as the actual drilling operation itself, you can see that the tool was automatically put in here according to the diameter of that particular hole that we have to drill at at the bottom. As you can see, if I click on that diameter, we have a diameter of 17 and a half millimeters, just like the actual drill itself. Note the levels. It's automatically according to the bottom depth of the hole itself with an additional half a millimeter delta going past the hole and set at full diameter. 
But now let's take a look at the next operation where we have actually the profile operation for milling out this counter bore. You'll note if I open up the operation itself, we've actually also captured the actual physical geometry of that hole in order to mill it out in that particular diameter. So we're actually doing a, comp we're capturing as what we're capturing in the geometry, the actual physical chains of that hole itself over there. And the same is done later on when I have my counterbore hole chamfer. If I were to open up that operation, you can see that we've also captured that particular geometry for that operation. Now, if we go into our list of geometries that were not used, you can see that we have different chain geometries here as well. It captured all of these geometries and I can show them, but I only used what I needed inside my process. So in other words, everything is being recognized and being stored so I can always use them at any point. Now let's go back into our machining process and let's work on tap tools. For example, we'll pick the tap tools and if we go to recognize our geometry, let's first click on this particular hole over here. Again, note, it'll pick all of the holes that were created from the wizard and its patterns. I'll accept that. And all I have to do now is insert them. Now, if I want to add another set of tap tools at this point, all I have to do is click on reset and then repick another set of holes, such as this one over here. Insert those as well. And we have more of the operations created over here. Now, again, look, I've used the exact same process in the process itself. It also recognizes the actual physical diameters of the holes itself, you'll note that the tools were automatically created. For example, if I were to go into the actual drilling of the operation and take a look at the tool itself, you'll see that we have a nine millimeter drill. The tap drill that we used for this particular hole, if we take a look, you'll see that we also have this as a 6.8 millimeter drill. So one process since it recognizes the, G, uh, the actual holes itself, we get those values from the whole wizard of SolidWorks. For more videos on SolidCam Professor, please go to our website, www.solidcam.com and look for the tab called SolidCam Professor. Thank you for joining us on SolidCam Professor. Take care and have a nice day.